Hey there, it's Alina Strombo from SodasTutorials.com. Today is April 18th, and uh, a couple things. I'm going to show a little bit of tutorial about some of the training I'm doing, trying to raise up some of the skills I've been opening in my light armor and some of my, um, I think it's subterfuge tree, some of the evasion skills and all that. Um, want to make note first um, that today, I, it's, I think I've been confusing us. I've been thinking, I think I've been saying Wednesday and the 18th and Wednesday, which today's Tuesday. Um, I'm going to extend it till tomorrow. So last Tuesday, I recorded my 100th video. And the 100th video is a little bit of a celebration. Um, 100th video YouTube, I've been on here for just over two months. And so I've been having a giveaway. And so what's happened, I'm going to put a link to the 100th video in the show notes. If you go on to that video, um, one, put a comment on the video with your in-game name, friend me inside the game, and subscribe on the channel. If you've done all three of those, I'll enter your name into a drawing. Uh, the drawings for a loot chest I've been putting together, and the loot chest have got, has gotten up there. Um, let me go see if I can get the latest notes on this. I'll have to read off. Sorry, I'm going to read off to my, uh, my left here. Um, it's got 11, uh, 11 kodos, a meteoric iron longsword, plus three, non-combat clockwork pet reward, five recalls, a red rose, a uh, hundred silver ore, a tabletop catapult, inoperable cobalt cloud cannon, and tesla rifle, one of the carved oak weapon racks that was released in R40, uh, let's see, two blank books, ten sheets of paper, an amethyst, a citrine, an onyx, a ruby, a sapphire, a dragon bone throne, five obsidian bear stews, food, five potions of health, five potions of focus, 500 cotton, 100 tea leaves, 16 wall torches, a pattern for a cobalt hammer, a recipe for the tabletop catapult, a white iron war hammer, a bronze war hammer, 100 iron ore, 100 gold ore, a rose bouquet plus one, um, so it's a pretty eclectic collection of stuff. It's definitely worth over, uh, I, I think, over 50,000 um, gold pieces. I think it's a pretty good loot, little loot package um, just to celebrate the 100th video. So I'll put a post it and I'll put notes to the 100th video down in the notes of this video. If you go to the video, comment with your in game name, friend me in the game, and subscribe to the channel. You do all three, you'll be entered into a drawing. And then tomorrow, I'll extend it by one more day because I think I've been waffling on Tuesday versus Wednesday. I'll extend it for one more day. I will um, do the video where I randomly pick one and that person will win the loot. So without further ado, let me um, pop back into the game here. Okay. And first of me wondering, Elena, where are your wings and where are your clothes? Um, so right now, let me explain why I'm standing here pretty much naked, except for a leather uh, chest piece here. I'm working on some of my skills, and I'm working on skills in the light armor. You see I've gotten them up so far up to 33, 39, 33 here. I'm also working on some subterfuge. I'm working on distract, um, camouflage. I think those are the main two I'm working on, and some fire skills. So I've been working on immolation, um, Looks like I've been, also I know I've been working on um, Fire Arrow as well. Just getting those raised up a little bit. So why am I standing here half naked? Well, it really comes down to this. First thing, if I'm working on the mage stuff, I don't want to have heavy armor on because I'm going to fizzle. You fizzle, you blow focus. You blow focus, you can't cast as much. So when you're sitting there grinding away trying to raise up skills, you want to keep up, keep up as much focus as you can. So the idea of not having armor or having cloth on makes a lot of sense. Well, I had full like chain and stuff on, so I just took all the pieces off. I took everything off, so I was literally standing here in a cloak. Um, but then you can't really practice light armor unless you have light armor on. The definition of having light armor or heavy armor on is the chest piece. That's the one piece you need to have on. So by just having the epic leather chest piece on right now, I have light armor and I can train these skills. So this is the minimal amount of armor I need to have on. And basically I'm, I, I'm not fizzling right now so when I'm casting spells. So I'm literally on my, in my house here with a practice dummy. I have it targeted. And when I pop into... Um, I pop into... Uh, combat mode I'm literally just standing here like so like uh, I know that the purify here I'm casting on that one I'm raising that one as well so I'm literally just casting that pretty much what's in slot six and seven six doing immolation I know I'm hitting up on searing ray too I'm literally just banging away these on the on the on the training dummy 
and we'll see after a bit over off from the right that these actually will start to um, will start to gather up. There's chain lightly I'm working on. So in five and six mainly is the the, the two um, skill slots I'm actually working on. Distract. Let's see. I got anything close? Oh, most are coming up. Uh, I actually just uh, leveled most of them up. One may come up here as a. So the question is, why would I do this as opposed to going to the training dummy or do the training dummy as opposed to going out to the real world and doing this? Um, one, you could do more of it here, but it's easier to do this at the lower levels um, because you gain a lot quicker. Quicker, so you're not blowing as much focus. Once you get to the higher levels, you're draining your pools just too high. So I'm trying to get things around the 40th. I'm also casting, cat doing Elysian, uh, I think, uh, Elysian Illumination, the healing uh, healing rays that stay with you. So I'm working on these um, to get them up to the 40th range. Some of these are up a little bit higher, just taking advantage of it. Advantage of it. But doing this with a dummy allows me to do it quicker, and I don't burn through that much. I do have a pretty big pool right now in my, I'm at 415, so I have a pretty big pool on this so far. Let's see, distract. I know I just raised that one up. Let's see what else comes up here. That one, immolation, distract. So by rolling these through these two slots, I'm able to get most of these up pretty pretty good without too many dead spots. So I'm able to get the skill, raise these skill up quicker. But I'm actually getting very close where I'm going to kind of lock these. I'm in the low 30s for some and high 30s and low 40s for others. So as soon as I get them up to a certain point, all of them up to like around the 40-ish, then I'm just going to stop and then I can take it over and do them more natural, just go out and adventure with them. The other reason is in the very beginning, some of these, you know, at level 1, don't do anything out in the field. It's just kind of a waste of a waste of a spot. You know, it's... It's so it's so low level. It doesn't do hardly any damage or hardly any of the effects. But once you get up to 40, they're at least doing something. So um, it helps out a little bit when you go out adventuring with these skills. Let's see if I can get one more game. There's one. Just got this one up to 40. That was evasion. Looks like Chain Lightning is going to get up there soon. I think on my next cast of it as well. So yeah, so this isn't something you want. You're not going to sit there and want to grandmaster the darn thing. Um, it's going to be too expensive. The skills cost too much, and you're not getting any experience coming in from actually killing monsters. But in the early part, let's just say zero to forty for a safe number. It's not, not a bad idea. So if you have a piece of property or have access to a property that has a training dummy on it, there's my Chain Lightning. Now it's at thirty-four. Here's the Elysian Illumination. You tell this one, this has got all the funny rays of light. It's actually at the bottom of, let me see if I can pull this up, the bottom of the sun tree. <clears throat> Summons a beam of light that heals those near the player, damages undead, and reveals hidden enemies. So you're down in the dungeon, you're getting aggroed by a bunch of skeletons. This one actually is a great spell because it hurts them. It heals you. Um, right now it's one to three health every two seconds, and it lasts for a minute. So it's healing you, it's hurting them. Um, it's kind of like Ring of Fire or Immolation, except Immolation and Ring of Fire just hurts them, but doesn't really help you. This one actually does both. So um, I've been working this one, trying to get this one up. You'll get a longer uh, duration and uh, more health recovery on it as you go up in uh, as you go up in skill on it. But yeah, it's down at the bottom of the tree. It's green, so it's considered a healing spell. I'd leave that out as a one that will pop up on the end here. Right now it won't for a bit because I've got the, uh, it's running right now. And there it goes. I think that's gonna pop off here, so. Yeah, so this is why, um, yeah, it's just one I, I think is a great one to, to add into my skill deck on here. Do I got anything else that's coming up? Um, chains almost is not. I think one of the other, uh, let's do that Elysian again. There, I got level 20 on that one. So, yeah. So, that's it. I just wanted to show this one on here. Uh, just another thing about how to, uh, you know, how to work your skills on this. Part of working your skills is definitely going out and doing an adventure. But in the very beginning, when you open up a block of skills, like I said, I want to work on light armor stuff and subterfuge. Um, coming in and actually working on a training dummy first, you've gone out, you've collected a lot of experience. 
I've blown probably about 100,000 experience on these skills so far getting up to level 40 because they don't take as much when they're smaller, but doing it here is a lot quicker than running around finding a monster. I can just sit here and just, as I'm literally watching TV, just bang away on the keyboard and say, you know, keep casting these spells and, and, and get those leveled up. So, um, yeah, but now that I'm here at this point, I'll start going out until you know, try to get them up into their 60s. I'll be doing that with um, normal adventuring out in, in, in the wilderness. And now that they're at 40, they're a little bit more effective, especially that like that the Elysian Light. Like this year, would be great in the uh, in the dungeons and, and, and whatnot. Or over like in Ravensport, you got all the skeletons on there. Um, also, it's pretty darn cool when you're running around, you got all these razor lights. So that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show that, just a tip on how I'm working or leveling um leveling the characters here um once again um hunter video entry for that loot chest will be i'll do the video tomorrow wednesday which is the 19th i'm looking at the calendar making sure of that um you can see on the first comment it's got all the description of everything that's in there um it's definitely uh, i've locked it i'm not adding any more i think i've added enough stuff in there to make it pretty cool um for anybody so um yeah please head over there enter into that that'd be great it also helps to support the channel helps me with subscribers you got any questions with comments on this video thumbs up or thumbs down once again it's elena strombo from sodatutorials.com take care have a good one